Good tonight, seatbelts aren't just for drivers and shotgun passengers anymore. As of today, everyone in Hawaii in the car needs to buckle up. Don't agree with that? Well, have your checkbook ready, and while you're at it, stash that cell phone too. KITV4's Brenton Awa breaks down two new laws. The lap and not the shoulder. HPD Captain Darren Izumo says he's been to well over 500 fatal and critical accident scenes in Hawaii. He's seen more than his share of backseat passengers who didn't buckle up. Properly worn seat belts save lives. No doubt about it. I've seen it firsthand. Hawaii has one of the highest seat belt usage rates in the nation, but Izumo says HPD still issued over 8,000 seat belt citations last year. A new law requires all front and back seat occupants to buckle up. You're going to save people's lives. You're going to stop the people in the back from becoming missiles, you know, flying missiles, and you're going to cut down on your costs. Those costs refer to medical charges. The Department of Health says backseat passengers not wearing their seat belts had medical costs that nearly tripled those who took a moment to fasten in. The law goes into effect today. So the next time you're out for a drive, you might want to check your rearview mirror. Now, even unbuckled backseat passengers carry a $92 fine each. And the ticket goes right back to the driver. A driver we spoke to recognizes the importance of wearing seat belts, but doesn't think drivers should get a ticket if their passengers aren't careful. It shouldn't be my responsibility necessarily as a driver, depending on how old the passengers are. Done. The governor also signed a bill to ban the use of electronic devices while driving. While counties already had distractive driving laws in place, there was no universal state law. The law will go into effect July 1st, and under it, violators can face a penalty of between $100 and $200 for first-time offenders. If caught in a school or construction zone, the fine is double. We're not trying to punish anybody. We're trying to get people to comply with the law, educate them. Another educational tip, violate the distracted driving law twice in a year and the fine can go up to $300. A third violation over a span of two years can cost you up to $500. Live in the studio, Brenton Oa, KTV4 News.